Hello friends, Arthur here and this is showcase number 25 as always hosted by Ronan and this showcase have some technical issues from my end and you will see them later but let's start from first track Foggy Lilypod Lake by IOI and well this is quite fun track I wouldn't say it's really hard all about these jumps you just need to find the line which is honestly just beyond the left side most of the case most hard thing i would say is the jump on the wood plank because there's some transition rather than that you just do all jumps and in the end there is a booster so you won't miss the finish really nice on track dark knot 3 i hear you like whiplash by Lily Zaban. And this is quite hard track. Thanks. Lily Shin puts the sign that next track is quite hard. A lot of transition, a lot of change camera angles because it's going up and down, upside down. Thankfully, at some part in the middle of the track, she put uh, first person view camera change, which helped to do, I would say, the hardest part of the track with a lot of intersection from track where it will be like completely destroyed in third person view. And as you can see, there is some technical issues. So for some reason, I didn't notice that like five, six track wasn't recorded at all. So thanks to Ron, he gave me the playlist and I played them after the showcase. But back to the A New Week by Diabler. Diabler was on this showcase and he said that he just created this track as part of the testing. Is it even possible to do all this transition on uh, gamepad? Well, I'm playing on gamepad, so apparently it's possible. That's why I love Diabler tracks. He always found new technique, new elements, new feature on Zipkist, on Zipkist physics that create New opportunity, new elements on the tracks. I really want to see what he could create and do in V16, where there will be a lot of new elements, new feature in Zipkist. And he have a really nice podium part with John Wick. Generic track name one by Dapper Duck and honestly, when I played on Showcase, I didn't finish this track because in the end it have quite hard speed check where you need all your gathered speed and the last transition jump into the pipe acquired hard. You can easily miss or you can lose a lot of speed and uh, Omni Booster won't give you enough speed to make the final part of this track. So probably semi-hard one. Banyus Arabes by Roder. Well, another quite hard track with a lot of jump and this showcase have a lot of really hard tracks where was not a lot of finishers, like less than 10. And I believe this is one of them. So I crashed, I didn't have enough speed to do basically the last part, the last checkpoint. So, well, we will see how just Maki easily done this part of the track. Waterforts by Maxi12. Well, I believe this track become harder than it's supposed to be just because of really big FPS drop down, even on my end where I usually have like 140, 150 during any CCL game, I have like 40, 45 and I will show you at the end why, but as of track I believe it was maybe slightly inspired by Tsushima or just any other game with Ford, but maybe I'm wrong. But if there wasn't a big FPS drop at the beginning, I believe it is a really nice, cool track. Um, uphill near the second part of the track is potentially could be considered as speed check, but there is a lot of boosters, so probably you can do it pretty easy. So I really love it. And already after 
showcased um, Maxi put the notifications that he already changed track, but I believe uh, Ronan already like download in playlist old version, so Maxi changed his track without this uh, animated signs, so now it's way playable, so really nice fun track. Sands of Alcara by Maki and Lust. And yet another really, really hard track uh, with a lot of sand. Really beautiful, really cool decoration. But, well, I understand that this is Sand of Alcara, but amount of sand, amount of some transition and jumps are really hard for me, especially this uh, loop after checkpoint 3, near checkpoint 4. I didn't do it. It was my basically uh, problem space for whole this track. I have like three, four attempts and they're all finished there. But even if I finish this part, I'm not sure that I would have enough speed for next part for all these jump loops and transition, even if it's look really easy and nice from Maki. Well, honestly, we're on slightly different level on skill. So really beautiful, but for me, it's quite hard track. Death Star Trench Run by Codwald. Love the theme of this track, love idea, really nice and pretty cool track from Codwald. Well, probably there's just several hard elements and most of them is jump from track to track through checkpoint. It's where you can like lose your time or go off the track. Another two semi-hard elements, it's the loop near the end where you need to go from one half pipe to another and if you want to be quick or risky you need to go to the risky finish into this hole if you want risk you can do like with normal finish either way it's really cool fun track love it W70 by Westside. I love the idea from Westside to name their track like numerically, so in the future it will be way easier to build like full Westside track list just according to their numbers. As of track, as of layout, pretty short, pretty cool, several really fun elements with wall ride, uphill wall ride and several jumps, but not really hard, really enjoy to play it. Where we are going to need Splits by Just Maki. Quite long track from Just Maki, like minute and a half for five minute session. I would say quite hard, even if you do it completely correctly. But well, this track, I didn't find this quite hard. The problem in me, I have like big ski shoe in this track. On this track, I just can't memorize the long track and as always, I have a big problem with consistency, so this was my the longest run and I just didn't notice that I need to go like on straight parts. And after that, I never have enough time or lucky attempts to go on the basically second part of this track. And as you can see, it has a lot of different surface change like bobsleigh and salt pipe, I guess. But I think I crash on the most hard part of this track. After than that, I think it's just quite fun and easy to finish it. So I was pretty unlucky and maybe if I have like several more attempts, I could finish it. Last Dream Nerfed Remix by Sheriff. Well, yet another track where I have a big issue and probably all other 20 players 
or like 16 knowing amount of finishers a lot of jump a lot of transitions a lot of speed jumps where you need to be really precise and really small checkpoints make this track very very hard it's green if you color blind by lexer and as i said on this showcase there was so many really hard tracks for me and this yet again one of them really tight really sharp turns where you need to be really really precise to maintain your speed on all this transition and jump and as you can see some of these jumps need to be done from like water angle things that because of my inconsistency i'm really bad in this part so only luck could help me finish such type of track Street Scramble by Roskinator. I never saw this after before, so I can assume that this is one of the new guy in the game. And also I believe in this, just because how Trek played, it have a lot of elements and a lot of blind jumps and a lot of tricky moments on this track and it's quite long. So you don't really understand from the beginning where and what you need to do and how to continue on this track. A lot of really hard blind jumps are really bad, but yet again, because this is a quite long track, I didn't have enough lucky attempt to do this. Like the first element when you need to be pushed by the fan on a specific speed just to be put in the small hole and not crash in the tight pipe is really hard. But I believe with more experience, with more track to build, with more feedback, he could really improve his building skills we have such examples as of track with some changes this could be a really good track lithic pass by shadanook track with a lot of grass with a lot of jump with a lot of hard jumps from track to track and constant surface changes which make your grip each time different so you need to consider it but anyway short fun surprisingly love it figure box 10 neon highway by tiger play on pc and he so many colors so many neon sorry if not all these colors and neon i would say it could be really fun track with all these colors i would say it's slightly trolling one there is cool feature the tiger try if you do this ladder going left right you will be bounced by unity and crash without all these colors pretty easy track with two finishers and I was lucky enough to finish the faster one. Okay guys, that was the last track for this showcase. Hope you enjoy it and sorry for not showing full version of showcase that I didn't have like several tracks. Hope you forgive me. Uh, leave likes, leave comments what your favorite track and see you next time. Bye.